Last week we had Brandon Rios on the show, and uh, he's still very, very adamant about getting back in the ring with Mike Alvarado. As a trainer, uh, you're his godfather, you're his friend. Do you feel that it's, it's intelligent to put him back in the ring in a 12-month span with those two hard fights and then giving him a third in, inside of 12 months? If it was up to Brandon and if Alvarado was was uh, healthy, not cut because he, he had some pretty bad cuts in his uh, in his eyes, Brandon would want to fight him next month. You know that's Brandon. That's where Brandon is. But uh, you know Cameron Duncan uh, is the best at this, and he uh, he has great plans. He's already told me that you know we do, we will do the we will do the third fight, but it probably won't happen till next year. We'll probably have two fights in between, and uh, and it it works out perfect for Brandon, for Alvarado, for both of them, and uh, for the, for top rank. Uh, so I think that's that's the plan. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, what top rank has lined up for both of them, but I know that's what Cameron Duncan told me. You know, we'll have two fights in between and then fight Alvarado again for the third time sometime next year. Two fights in between. Is Brandon going to move up to 147? I mean, who's left for him at 140 that's top ranked that he can fight? Well, Brand Brandon, Brandon could make 140, but if, if, if the move is at, to 147, he'll have no problem doing it. He's, uh, he's a big boy. He's very strong at that division, and, uh, and he could also do good at 147. But right now, uh, that, uh, you know, we would have to uh, talk it over with Cameron Duncan and see what names are out there and what fights are available at 140. And if not, maybe 147 is our, 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 our is going to be our choice. All right. Well, the fight fans definitely want to see him back in the ring. So many fans want to see him get his revenge. And uh, you've had a great year. Uh, you're also receiving an award this year as well, correct? Great. That is great. You're receiving Trainer of the Year. Uh, did they give that to you Not already? Yet. Not yet. Not yet? All right. Well, beforehand, we were just going to congratulate you Thank on you. receiving that award because you have done a magnificent job. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I can mention other trainers that get right. the same recognition and really don't deserve it, but you have put together a, a great stable.